Hey y'all, it's your girl Just Bree coming at you with another video. Feel free to hit the like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for tuning in to my channel. Um, so I wanted to do um a reading of uh Sansa Ray's Read My Mind blog. We're gonna do a, a dramatic reading, should I say? Um, I just want to so um I just want to thank you guys for the love and support. You guys are so awesome. Um, today I have my little, I call her my play baby, uh, slash guy baby. Um, it's not official or anything, but it's um, my daughter's um friend has a little. She has a two year old, and she brought her over early this morning, and she's um, and we were playing in the water and stuff, and my son. Um, he loves her. He adores her too. So she's just so stinking cute. And I miss being a mommy of a little one. My kids are grown. Well, my daughter is definitely grown. She's 25 and my son is 13. So he don't feel no ways about nothing. He like, yeah, yeah, whatever. <laughs> so anyway, I just get, I get her for my own satisfaction. My own selfish reasons. I know it sounds bad, but I spoil her so much for the little time that she's with me. So, um, so yeah, we just had a little play day out in the backyard. I have a nice big backyard. Um, Sansa Ray, uh, why you still hotel hopping out in these streets, girlfriend? I have a backyard for my kids, for for my son, and um anybody else that I have to come over. Um, so yeah, that's what we did, and I grilled, I grilled some sausage, Italian sausage, and some ribs. Okay, so there you go, and I made some tuna salad and some baked beans. Um. So, let's get into what I promised to do. I don't know how well I'm going to do it. <laughs> I'm just going to, I'm going to try my hardest. It's going to be a dramatic reading. I'm going to try to make it as funny as possible. It'll probably be in three or four parts. Um, because I'm sure I'm going to have to stop and uh, make some, have some commentary. Um, I guess I should say fair use, even though this is, I don't know not a video, but, uh, I guess it's somebody else's content, uh, so I guess I have to say that. Anywho, um, so I wanted to start with this. To my ex's new girlfriend. <laughs> and so the first thing we see here is a gif that says, do you think I want to be a baby mama? Now that's very interesting, and... I wanted to address that first because, you know, it's that's something a lot of women say when asked that question, right? And to that I say, because I never wanted to get married. I was afraid. I operated in fear. I didn't think that I was worthy of marriage. I felt like. Um, I felt like you had to perform for your partner. I was afraid that they would get, um, bored of me. I'd get bored of them. You know, all this dumb shit. Um, so that's why I never wanted to get married. You know what I'm saying? So I am a two-time baby mama. Um, not proud of it. You know, um, it is what it is, and I've had to deal with the consequences. I am dealing with the consequences, um, you know. So, when a person says, do you think I want to be a baby mama? To that I say, well, 
you did not require a ring and you did not walk down the aisle before you were impregnated. And all of that leading up to that is a choice. So as far as I'm concerned, we wanted to be baby mamas. Otherwise, you just don't get pregnant until after the wedding day. Now, all that talk about what we planned and we was engaged and I didn't mean for it to happen. It wasn't supposed to happen that way. Okay, well, I mean, shit, you still a baby mama. All of what you talking about really don't count. Like, what does that, I mean, what does that count for? Like, you just didn't do it, so own it. And be accountable for your actions. I chose not to get married. I chose to be a baby mama. That's it and that's all. I mean, now you can dissect that all you want. I mean, shit. I'm not saying it was right or whatever. I mean, I was raised in church. So you know I ain't had no business getting knocked up. But, you know. Um... <laughs> So, all right, here we go. Let's get into it. I don't do drama, so let me save you some time. Yesterday was a bad day for me. I keep biting it inside of my lip. Okay. One day I flew back to California from Ohio. Now, I, I just want to know, is she going out to Ohio for this, so this, this show for free? Like, who the hell, child, if it's for free, it ain't for me, child. I'm not going on nobody's show just to, just because, shit, y'all better um, Skype me in or whatever. I was emotionally exhausted. My four-day weekend, child, my four-day weekend of filming for the second season of a show called Tonight's Conversation was humbling. What? The entire weekend was an emotional one. First of all, bitch, you proud because you traveled to Ohio? One of the most... I mean, she act like she went to fucking the Dominican Republic. Bitch, you went to Ohio. What the hell is all these emotions for? <laughs> Girl, who sponsored you? Because I know they was looking at you like you was one crazy nut. But you know, that's how narcissists and psychos are. They could trick you into thinking they um normal. Anyway, I was surrounded by therapists and other life coaches. Girl, you weren't surrounded by no damn therapist. I want to see some certification. Ain't no damn therapist. All y'all sitting up there lying. <laughs> nah, shit, they probably the real deal. So I'm sorry, ass only. She done wiggled her way up in some shit. They don't know who the hell she is. <laughs> she just snuck her ass into the party, child. And um, she said she gonna blend in one way or another. Oh, by the way, let me introduce myself. My name is Sansa Raymoni. I am currently a certified life coach. For almost twenty years, I was dating a coach, a dating coach for men, <sighs> an uncertified. Girl, uncertifiable, to say the least. Because I don't know who gave you permission to coach men in, 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 in all your failed relationships. You some kind of dating coach, bitch. I'd rather take advice, and this is just me. I'd rather take advice from a twice-divorced man who at least got down the aisle and was willing to do it again, then this nut who said everybody she dated abused her 
for crying out loud. Five years ago, I was engaged to your significant other. We have a four-year-old together. She was engaged, child. Engaged, no ring, no, um, you know, like Kevin Samuel said, did he get that bitch? Listen, Kevin Samuel said, <laughs> he said, did the motherfucker get down on one knee in front of everybody in, in, out in public? Because that's how most people get engaged, bitch. They call family members over and it's a surprise, um, you know, or they might do it in private, child. But you didn't have no ring and you never even told... How he allegedly asked you to marry him, bitch. <laughs> we have a four-year-old together. One who snuck inside. One who snuck inside the fridge yesterday while I was cooking and grabbed a carton full of eggs, unaware of how heavy they were, and dropped them all over the kitchen floor. We call him Justice. His nickname. Lou gave him his birth name. Child, what is the child's name? Today is Thursday, August 4th, 2022. And your boyfriend has never met Justice. Bitch, because that's because you kidnapped him. I mean, if we talking technically, and then you think somebody going to follow your stinking ass to a whole other state that they don't have no family in? Just because you was trying to go get some public assistance? And, and girl, I'm sure you aren't surprised by that. When you reached out to me yesterday, sending me pictures of you two together, it proved that I have recently been the topic of conversation between you two. I mean, well, damn, bitch, you don't think you would come up at least once? I mean, I'm sure he's not denying his son, but is somebody going to go out that way and break their neck to try to, uh, 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 you know, see a child that you stole? You know, especially if he didn't have that kind of money to get back and forth to travel. Now, I'm not saying he shouldn't have traveled to California to at least see his son. But, um, ma'am, don't sit up here and act like you was going to make it so easy for him. You want to do shit on your terms. And ain't nobody got time for that, bitch. You take your, you and your um son, and y'all go on into the sun. How about that? Bitch. Because if it was my relative, I'd tell you to kiss, kiss his ass. And kiss mine, too. Shit, you don't up and move without permission from the other parent, bitch. Who you think you are? I congratulated you right away. I love to see people love each other. All I did was imagine that the man you love is so what? All I did was imagine that the man you love is someone else. That is easy for me to do because I fell in love with the man he pretended to be. Who I love was an illusion. He wasn't real. Bitch, you had all the red flags in the world. So I don't know. What this illusion was that you fell for that uh, 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 a woman with common sense would have said hell to the naw. He wasn't real. The Lou I know would have never hurt me. Unbeknownst to me. Priest was a character he made up during a performance he started in solely to entertain on social media. I thought it was genuine. I really did. Everyone did. Our families, our friends, our co-workers, his ex, Sedonia, all thought we were madly in love. All of my followers on social media. All my followers on social media, bitch. That's your problem. You worried about social media. What the hell? Everyone thought we thought he and I was the epitome of black love. Bitch, how is that? When you on on the other side of a computer, you don't know what the hell people got going on for real, for real. All you do is take pictures and post the shit and sit up there and you create that narrative. 
I mean, shit, anybody could think anything. I personally choose not to even, you know, I mean, now I will say, I feel like Denzel and his wife, they may have something going on that I, I could probably admire. But shit, I still don't know. I can assume. But girl, ain't nobody talking. Girl, this, them people been together 30, over 35 years. You was together with this man for five minutes. <laughs> you was together with, you was pregnant longer than you was with him. Okay. I did not know he didn't love me. I can truly say that I do not know the man you are currently dating. We haven't talked in years. I haven't seen him since I was pregnant with our son. Here she go with that bullshit. Letting Lou go is one of the hardest things I've ever had to do. It hurt for a long time. A very long time. It hurt a lot. Oh, God. <laughs> to this day, I have a hard time dating. Girl, if you was that in love with somebody in five damn months, you need your head checked. You need some serious... I've been... Oh, here we go. I've been to counseling, allegedly. I've had therapy. Well, that shit ain't work. You need your money back, girl. If you pay for it, because we all know Medicaid pay for it. You don't understand the trauma associated with being left behind during a pregnancy. Oh, my God. Oh, no, I shouldn't have gotten into this. But I'm going to get through it, y'all. We're going to get through this. It's dehumanizing. I hope you never have to go through that. <laughs> ah, it's dehumanizing because, bitch, you the one got on here and told all your business. So now we were talking about the night a man said you stunk up the damn house and your cootie can't stink. You said that. That man, the one or two interviews that he did do, you know, he tried to choose his words wisely. You know, but at the end of the day, you couldn't blame him for, um, coming out saying, you know, defending himself or saying something nasty about you because look at all the shit you did. And then once he got off this internet and got, you know, and did the one or two interviews, he was done. He was done with it. Ain't nobody heard from Pree since then. Before We ain't heard from him for four years either. I had to detox after living in such a healthy, unhealthy environment as Atlanta is. What? It's good for women like me. <sighs> Lou knew that I did not want to be a single mother. Here we go. I begged him not to do that to me. I, you know, bitch, you kicked him out, told him you didn't want to see him, and he said, ask you, were you sure? You said, yeah, and then he moved on. Ain't nobody kissing your motherfucking ass, bitch. I don't know who you think you are, but you ain't it, man. You was, you not, you not, uh, 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 queen of the, uh, queen of the South. You ain't that bitch. You ain't who you thought you was. That's why he said, well, hell, fuck it, shit. Somebody about to beg you? I didn't think. See, and obviously, because you did the begging. I begged him not to do that to me. Well, you wouldn't have been a single mother had you waited for the man to get divorced to see if he would wife you up. But your ass was worried about your damn ticking time clock on your body and your ovaries because you was already approaching 30. And... You wanted a child first. You was willing to sacrifice having a child before you got the marriage. But it didn't work out like that. So I relied on him to protect me, to provide for me. I trusted him and he let me down. Even though my intuition told me that maybe things weren't completely over between him and the children. Regardless to what they were telling me. I made a terrible mistake putting that much trust into a man and his estranged wife. He was just as bad as for her as he was for me. Who are you to say? What the hell? Had they got had they had got oh shit. Sure. <laughs> 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 
who are you to say what uh, what uh, he was bad for her? Like you was a part of their marriage, bitch. You came on the scene in five months. And before you know it, that shit was over in the blink of an eye. And here they was together for 20 years. He led the public to believe he broke things off for me to be with her. But he was contacting me privately, claiming he was dating an entirely different woman. He just didn't want to be a father and my husband anymore. And my husband anymore. He wanted to be single. How can he be your husband if he already married, ma'am? He slept with plenty of women before he even met me. While he was still legally married to Sedonia. All of what you knew, bitch, and you still dated him. And even slept with other women after me. While he was still legally married to Sedonia. Okay, his business. His and her business. That ain't got shit to do with you. And pushing forward and not letting his foolishness disrupt my own personal development. I almost married a childhood friend during the during the pandemic, but that didn't work out. What? I thought. Jesus. God, I'm about ready to throw this computer out the window. I can't take this bullshit no more. I'm about to go back to playing checkers. <laughs> I can't. Um. What? Where am I? She almost married a childhood friend during the pandemic. But that didn't work. I found out he was abusing drugs and alcohol. Somebody that lived in a whole nother city and town, apparently. I forgot where they said the man lived, child. But allegedly, child, child. Using those things to cope with PTSD, he was diagnosed with after touring Iraq twice. Even though he was an honorable military man and a childhood friend. I love deeply. I didn't think he'd be a good role model, let alone stepfather for my son. Honestly, I just can't imagine myself with someone other than priest right now. For the first two years of my son's life, I refused to date anyone because it felt like I was cheating on him. Oh, uh, roll my eyes so hard. I can't even take it. People ask me, what do I want in a man? I simply say, I don't know. Bitch, I know you ain't talking about today. Because the truth is, I don't. However, can t- however I can tell you who I don't want your... <laughs> what? So, you simply... All this, all this YouTube guru, relationship guru bullshit... And bitch, you sitting up here saying that you don't know what you want in a man? How about start with a career and, and a place to live and, a, and transportation? How about start with them three things? Okay? I mean, because at this point in this stage in life, girl, ain't nobody trying to wife up no 40-some-year-old woman with a toddler. I don't give a damn what y'all talking about. Now, could it happen? Might it happen? Anything possible shit. But um, the odds ain't in her favor on top of her dating history. And, and the fact that she's still talking about she don't know what she wanted a man. Bitch, you're 42 years old. How do you not know? How about you want a man with a pulse? No. <laughs> Let me stop. Oh my god. This girl is really giving me. Oh my god. <sighs> Let me see. I think I'm going to um, read another paragraph or two. All right. Whoever that man is, I found a picture with you. I don't want him. I don't know him. I couldn't even get mad when you contacted me. I want to confirm that she contacted him. Somebody in this conversation, please come and tell me who contacted who. I need to get the details on this bullshit here, child. Because I just don't believe this woman just reached out to this bitch out of the clear blue sky. For what? I mean, unless it was to say, you know, listen, I know you got a son. 
by my fiance. Um, we would like to come and take a trip to California to come and visit him. You know, meet you, visit him. I can meet you, we visit him, so we can start a relationship. You know what I'm saying? Other than that, what the hell is you contacting this lady for, allegedly? It was clear that you were throwing your relationship in with Lou in my face. But why? Out the blue. Why was your first message to me? Seemed classless and unnecessary. You could have just introduced yourself politely and took the high road. But no, you just wanted to show off that you was with him. Well, listen to the grammar. You was with him. Like it's some kind of accomplishment. Then I realized you are just a woman who just started dating a man you barely... Child, no, she ain't gonna tell this lady she barely know the man. Somebody said they was together for a year. I was that woman when I first started dating priests, naive and open-hearted. Bitch, you wasn't naive. You chose... You chose that man the way he was. What the fuck? You ain't no fucking retard. You a retard, but you ain't that crazy. I thought the world to him. You was willing to... And you thought... I don't... Shit, I don't know. <laughs> I can't even begin to try to put myself in the frame of mind that this bitch was in at that time. Because, you know... I I only deal with men with car- with careers and jobs, honey. Um, so, I mean, the firefighter Mike, he was a um, he's a firefighter. He probably retired now. Firefighter and a um, and a damn school teacher. He taught part time at the high school, child, and he was a firefighter. Um. My friend from high school I was messing around with, he's a UPS, worked for UPS for years. The homicide detective caught me coming out of City Hall one day, and he approached me. Homicide detective, ma'am, he, um, yes. Uh, you know, I could go on, but that, you know, I don't date, like, I just, what the I mean, you know. I'm just saying. <laughs> um, yeah. I can only imagine what kind of lies and rumors he's spreading about me. The same way he did Sedonia when he met me. He spoke about her like she was the most terrible woman he had ever experienced. Okay, so that happened to me in my 20s. Like, what the fuck? In my 20s, I dated a guy who was living with his girlfriend, right? And he told me all this and this and that. And I fell for the okie doke. He had me open. We had sex. The sex was like out of this, like till this day at 43 years old. Listen, now, and I had some sex to this day that nigga is the best i ever had (laughs) but when i you know had i shared some information with my mother she was like girl he ain't leaving that lady and so you know long story short i got taught the lesson real fast right But that's some shit I did in my 20s, bitch. You was damn near 30-some years old. Like, I, you know the old saying goes, believe half of what you hear, read, or half of what you hear, and none of what people say or some shit like that? Girl, at a certain age, like, you can't, like, like, you can say whatever you want to say. I'm just going to look at you like you're crazy. (laughs) <laughs> I wish a nigga would go up to me talking about he married, but his wife is just that in the third. Like, oh, okay. Yeah, well, guess what? Lose my number or you ain't getting it in the first damn place. How about that? Um, But Sansa was so fucking desperate, she couldn't help herself. <laughs> 
Um, he spoke about, and then not to mention, if he spoke about her like she was the most terrible woman he ever experienced, he even spoke bad to be. She, I'm sure she meant me about her children. Why would you deal with a man like that, you idiot? If he's gonna talk bad about her and her children, which I personally don't believe, you know, he might have, he, well, he probably said a little something, something. He probably was a little frustrated. And see, there you go. He married to a woman with other children. So he probably was going through it with her children. Now, you know, he probably said a little something, something. But if he's talking bad about them to you, who is a stranger, I would be looking at him like sideways. You know, like, come on now. That's nothing you can fight in with a stranger about. That's real suspicious. Like, okay, well, then you need to get divorced before you start calling yourself out here dating then. That's just it and that's all. I'll, you know, I'll see you around town. Let me know. I'll Let me see the paper and, you know, we'll take it from there. But that's just me, child. Even though I wasn't insecure enough to contact his ex, what? She was giving me every reason in the world to do so. She was stalking my Facebook page. She was all over my social media accounts. Lord Jesus. <sighs> that's a natural human instinct, right? The average woman wants to know who their man used to date or who he dates after her. Then again, I'm not average. Bitch. She not average. I don't care. Nor do I compare myself to other women. Deep down. Yeah, I bet you don't. Deep down, the desire to reach out to your man's ex stems from lack of self-work. I'm not your competition. Girl, you talking about somebody lack of self-worth. You little sorry ass piece of shit. And look at Sedonia. She's such a pretty lady. Nice smile. Cute little girl. I tried to have respect. Let me see how many minutes I'm going to do, y'all. I'm going to go by minutes. <sighs> 30 minutes would have been good, but I think I'm going to do 40. I don't know. Damn, I want to stick with 40, 30 minutes. All right. You know what? I'm going to do 32. I'm going to try to keep it around 30. So, um, on that note, I'm going to end this video right here, and I will come back where we left off, um, where we left off at, y'all. So, I'll see you in a minute. I'll see you in the next video. All right, we out. Peace.